In, in France, where dramatic events have been unfolding in the last half hour, gunfire and explosions have been heard at the site of the hostage drama in Zamatan. The two suspects in Wednesday's attack on Charlie Hebdo have reportedly been killed. They were holed up in a commercial building for most of the day and were believed to be holding one hostage, a woman. Just before six our time, people in the area were evacuated from a nearby office park. Then bursts of gunfire and explosions were heard. Our Correspondent Jack Parrock is in Damatin. He joins us now. Good evening to you, Jack. Any confirmation that the suspects in the Charlie Hebdo killings have in fact been killed? So we are getting early reports that both the suspects have now been killed by, by police. Um, it, the, the factory is just over on the hill uh, 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 behind me here, and we're hearing that the hostage may perhaps be safe, but this is unconfirmed reports as yet. We've just seen a large number of ambulances head behind me, on the road behind me, heading up to where all these events took place. Um, but yeah, as, uh, it seems that both Saeed and Sharif Kouachi, the two men that were involved in the Charlie Ebdo killings two days ago as well do seem to have been killed. Now Jack just talk us through exactly what has happened for the last half an hour at the printing press because there's been negotiations and at one stage it seemed like the standoff would continue for some time. Indeed. So this uh, standoff has been going on since about 9 a.m. Uh, local time here, but this manhunt and chase for these men has been going on for well over two days now. There were negotiations. Clearly, France's best negotiators were here to try and talk these men uh, out of this situation. Um, but uh, uh, around half an hour ago, there was a huge surge of activity. The police forces and the security for forces all, as you could see, a heightened sense of tension. And then and they went in and, and now we're hearing that the two brothers, the Kouachi brothers, have been neutralized. And hopefully, if it's true, that uh, this hostage has been released and, and, and may be safe. Jack, any significance attached to this printing press? Why do you think the brothers ended up here? Well, there may be some indication that this print factory, uh, which is just about 45 minutes out of central Paris to the northeast, um, may be where the Charlie Hebdo uh, magazine uh, newspaper is printed. So that may be a reason. This manhunt has taken the police and security services in France all the way to the Picardy region. They were searching uh, yesterday right up in the north of France and then brought them right back down to the outskirts of Paris, clearly only a matter of, uh, a matter of under an hour away at least. Uh, most from the Charlie Hebdo HQ where 12 people were already killed on Wednesday. We've been getting reports of Al-Qaeda of Yemen, that they're linked to Al-Qaeda of Yemen. Any reports that you've been getting uh, that would tell you that this would be the truth? Um, well, it certainly seems that they are involved with some extremist um, uh, organizations. Yemeni al-Qaeda, indeed, is one that's been speculated. One of the brothers had been in prison in 2008 um, for 18 months for helping uh, insurgents head to Iraq. There's, uh, so, so clearly, there's, there's a strong link with extremist organizations. I can't confirm whether it is to al-Qaeda, but it does seem likely to be so, and that, that's what French media are reporting as well. Jack, parallel to this, at least five people were taken hostage at a kosher supermarket in Paris. What can you tell us about that incident? Indeed, so while I've been stood here with these unfolding events, there's been a whole other um, in incredible incident uh, in a kosher supermarket in eastern Paris within the city uh, where it's thought that um, uh, 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 the man who was involved in the killing of a policewoman just yesterday, um, they think his name is Amadi Chouali, Chouali excuse me, um, a 32-year-old, a French Senegalese man is involved in that. A, a policewoman was killed on the streets of southern Paris yesterday, and he's thought to be the man that was holding up that kosher supermarket. And I clearly, I don't know quite exactly what's unfolding over there, but there were reports that five people were taken hostages, that perhaps some people had been had been killed there. So uh, there's this two uh, pro, two two places with two hostage situations, which has shocked France and and notably Paris as well, obviously. 
Jack, earlier French President Francois Hollande was saying in a press conference that France has been under threat, terrorist threats for several months now. Do you think perhaps it's time for the country to do some introspection? People have also been talking about the fact that Charlie Hebdo offices was possibly a target of note and they should have had more than two guards guarding that office. Yes, indeed. So, yeah, the French president, Francois Hollande, said, you know, that um, uh, the, the country had been under threat for some time. And it's important to note that both Saeed and Sharif Kouachi, the two men that have been holding up this print works and we now believe have been neutralized, um, are, are, are known to international uh, security services. They've been on blacklists, no-fly lists in the U.S., in Great Britain as well. So the questions really be, are being asked about why the, these attacks have been allowed to happen and why they've got so far now. This has been a three-day, uh, essentially, uh, 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 ongoing uh, scenario and scene that seems to have ended here, but we'll, we'll know more about really what happened in this print factory uh, in, the coming, in the coming minutes and hours. Jack, what can you tell us about how things are there now? How's the mood there compared to how it was yesterday? So now, clearly, uh, the, the, post the Charlie Hebdo uh, attack on the centre, which brought condemnation, clearly, but also a lot of sadness. I've been in central Paris for the past uh, two and a half days, and it was very uh, subdued, and the people are clearly shocked by these attacks. And then we got reports that the police had come here, and the media, and everyone has hot-footed out to this part of, part of, uh, part of uh, France, just outside the centre of Paris. And clearly, there's been tension and, and nervousness, and a lot of worry uh, across the board uh, with the security services performing these operations to try and, and sort out what's, what's been quite a dreadful uh, few days, clearly, with a number of killings involved. That was our correspondent, Jack Parrock, coming to us live from France.